so hi guys look at here and i just thought of making a video about sweet potatoes and how to grow them just from plain water and so as you can see here is the roots of the plant is growing pretty well actually and this plant is like maybe nearly 2 weeks old i just took out a bulb i mean a sweet potato a medium sized one where i could find a lot of eyes in it eyes are like the small tiny sprouts which are purple in color but they basically don't develop any leaves i just selected a bulb and then put it into water it's just plain water as i said and maybe you have to keep changing the water like every 3 or 4 days so that the water doesn't get stinky or cloudy and then maybe within 2 weeks uh, these leaves will start developing they are pretty beautiful actually it's like purple purple color leaves and on the background where you can see i put some onion bulbs into plain water as well they have started to develop roots this one's just 2 days old just 2 days ago i put an onion into this cup of water and look at the way it's growing and this one as well is 2 days old i have put uh maybe somewhere around 50 grams of sand into the water or mason jar so that if there is any debris or something falling out from the bulb it will it will settle down in, into the sand and then it'll get and then it will get converted into nitrate so the roots will suck up the nitrate and it will help the plant in growing better and i have another sweet potato bulb this one's like 3 weeks old and you can you can take a look at the root system comparatively like this one has great roots in it than this but this one has developed better leaves that's because the size of the bulb matters like this is where it stores all its nutrients and like it stores its glucose for the plant and see this is the shape of the plant at first they start out like this the sprouts sprout from here and then it will have purple leaves it will have just purple small tiny leaves which not yet opened and then later on the plant like a, the stem matures a bit and then the purple leaves will have a little bit of green tint from the middle like let me try to show you let focus let's focus this one yeah perfect so like this like this one here has a little bit of green tint in it can you see this yeah and then the leaves will start opening up something like this one here yes so once this leaf is opened up and if it start aging like it will be totally green like this one here and then it will start developing a better stem so this is about the sweet potatoes like i as i said you this one's 3 weeks old uh, all i had to do is just look up for the water so that it doesn't stain and i have added a baby guppy fish into this you can see here right this one yeah i have actually added two baby guppy fishes one to this glass and another to this jar so that i thought it would help it would act like a very little ecosystem 
I did a little bit of Google and then I found out that fish's poop help the plant to grow. It's basically like if you, you feed the fishes with some fish food, the fish eats up on the food and then it digests the food and then when it poops, fish poop goes and settles in the bottom of the whatever base and then after time that poop will get converted into nitrate very important nutrient for the plant and then the nitrate is sucked up by the roots the nutrient factors are taken up by the roots and then it propagates the plant and growing very well and developing good leaves there were very less videos about sweet potatoes so I thought to do one this is my first video for the YouTube I hope it's good you enjoy and yeah this one's a very fun project maybe everyone should try out yeah like this one here the tiny eye is the first stage of sprout I lately found out this one yeah exactly this one here and then as I said you it goes on the cycle goes on then basically develops a small sprout like this and then leaves open up and then purple leaves to convert into green and then you will have a pretty big stem I saw from a video that when this stem grows about 10 inches you can take a cutting and then place it in a glass of water and again the stem will start developing roots pretty cool huh yes it is and so this is it what I basically provide is CFL lighting for somewhere around 4 hours and then I keep my windows clean open so they're getting pretty good amount of light 